your subject without making it look like there's a lot of masking, without really having to do a lot of masking, as well as without making it look like it's, um, you know, there's like a halo around them or whatnot. So the quickest way to do this is with a gradient. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to gradient. No, sorry. Quickest way to do it was curves. I'm going to go to curves and I'm going to move this bottom slider till my picture gets pretty dark. And that's going to be dark kind of like around the blacks of the picture. And then I'm going to move a little bit up down here to make it dark on the mid mid tones of my picture. So it's really dark, obviously. We're not going to keep it like that, but I, I like to exaggerate it because then I can play with it later. Um, then I'm going to go over here and choose the gradient tool. And you want to make sure because you're, it'll automatically add a mask to the curve layer and it's always white. Because your curve is white, you want to make sure your gradient is uh, brush is black and then you're going to click and drag and the further out you drag from the subject's face the more light is going to be around them so like that's barely around her face at all if I drag it further it's going to make a nice bright spot around her so I'm just going to drag it to kind of where I think it'll look good just click and drag and then let go so about like that and then you can take this and kind of reduce the opacity um, to get it however you want it. So I usually leave it about there. And if you want to add additional masking, like say I don't want the bottom of her dress quite so dark, I'm just going to use a black brush. And you can brush off additional if you'd like. Now with children, I rarely have to add a little brush in because it's um, it, they're not that big. <laughs> but with adults, a lot of times I'll have to kind of brush it off a little bit of other spaces. So you can see there's the before and there's the after. And it just adds a nice little effect without looking like too much a halo. It really looks more like the sun's just kind of coming down and hitting her. And that's it.